My name is Zoe Walker. Not so long ago, I wanted to be a journalist. Now, I just want to hold my breath and sink. Not because I want to black out, but for the calm that comes beforehand. When thoughts die and memories drown. 90 seconds. That's about how long it takes for me. And suddenly, it's like none of it ever happened. Daddy, are we gonna play? Sorry, Pumpkin. You, you bet we're gonna play. Now, I know you're an expert, but are you sure you've looked at everything? Mm -hmm. Trust me, I got this. Okay. Then what color is... Our cars... It's an SUV. And it's red. Yeah, but I wasn't finished. What color are the turn signals? The ones Mommy says you never use? Yep, those. What color are they? Um, orange? Hey, you are rocking this today, Zoe. Thank Looks you. like you're ready for the next level. What's the next level? You ask me one final question. If I don't get it on the first try, <laughs> you win the whole game. Let's play it. Let me just have one last look around. Ready? Okay. Shoot. Um, how many stars are on my backpack? Hmm. This is a toughie. Is it six? Ah, uh, how'd you know? I use my superpowers. <laughs> but I'll tell you, you're getting hard to beat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did I doze off? <laughs> Come on, back in the car. We still got 45 states license plates to spot. <clears throat> Hey. Hey. You... You doing okay? Yeah, sure. It's, uh... You know, I'm fine, Michelle. We're good. <sighs> Why are you guys acting weird again? It's nothing, hun. Just a long trip. I tell you, the only thing worse than feeding a dog fast food is smelling it again on the way out. Grandpa! Wait, I'm your grandpa? All this time, I thought you were my grandpa. <laughs> How far'd you walk? I was worried you got lost. Oh, just to the tree. You know dogs. They think they're the ones holding the leash. All right, crew, buckle up. I want to make it to Albuquerque before we stop for the night. You're listening to Drive Time on KMOD, Blackstaff's first and finest. It's another beautiful Arizona afternoon, and your weekend starts here. So, what's next? License plate game? Another round of row, row, row your boat? <laughs> She fell asleep halfway through your solo. You definitely get first prize for keeping her entertained. I am not entertaining. I am shepherding. <laughs> you are my flock, and I plan to herd you to St. Louis in high spirits. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Wasn't taking the scenic route your idea? I wanted to do this trip at 30,000 feet. Oh, I'm not complaining about the drive. I'm just trying to 
Picture Vince living in the Midwest. Hey, it's gonna be awesome. I'll learn the banjo, get myself a ticket to Country Palooza. <laughs> ha ha, you're very funny. St. Louis is as urban as it gets, and you know that. And actually, the whole city's turning around these days. I'm kidding. I know. It'll be fine. You've got your tenure. I've got... my new job. <laughs> Couldn't make me work for a pet food company if it was the only job left in the country. Jim, I don't think that's helping. Ten thousand bucks. You should have gone for the jugular, sued those bastards at the airline the way they pinned that thing on you. Not signed some settlement paper. I haven't signed it yet. But you still want to, right? I know it's your call, but I think it's time to put this whole thing behind us. I know, it's just... It's hard. And once I sign, that's it. I'll never work for an airline again. I know. Vince was a good kid, but he always did let people walk all over him. When you were small, you asked me to buy you these cheap action figures so you'd have something to give the kids at school when they picked And what was I like in high school, huh? Ouch. Sorry. I shouldn't have said that. If you two didn't want me to come, you could have said so. Zoe wanted you to come. Please, Jim, let's just take it down a notch and try to get through the next three days. Without me talking, you mean. <sighs> hey, I'm glad we're spending a few days together on the road. And like I said, once we get settled in the new days... <laughs> You okay, Pumpkin? What happened? She's just shaken, I think. <sighs> Great. Hey, thanks for coming back. If you give me Learn a how to drive, asshole! Are you kidding me? Country kids. Oh, a desert version. Lucky we're still in one piece. <laughs> Man, the look on his face. I hope he didn't see our license plate. Nah. Stupid fucker was too busy yelling into the wind. That's the one. 28 Northwood. <laughs> Ugly as hell. These houses all look the same to me. Jay, you ready? Jay! What? Head out of the clouds, little bro. Knew we shouldn't have brung him. Oh, come on. He'll pull his weight. Look, this is just like we talked about. There's enough cash in that safe to put the last few weeks behind us. We stay alive, we keep the house, everything goes back to normal. I don't know. What if he's got an alarm or something? Nah, he'd have one of those signs out front. You're always out skulking in the woods, climbing trees and all that. We all know you're good at it. <laughs> and you want to help the family, right? You know I do. Then here's your chance. Hop that fence and find a way in. Whoa! Does Mom know you took that? 
No, but someone's got to watch your backs. We got one hour before they're home. If you hear three honks, you run like hell. Hey, let's party. Dale, the code. Jay can read. Don't screw this up, kid. We're counting on you. All right. You go do your Tarzan bullshit over the back gate. I'll try the garage. Never know when you might get lucky. Jay, I get it. You're just protecting your turf. That's what we're doing here too, in a way. It's okay. I just need something from inside. That's a good boy. It's the big bad wolf. Not funny. You get in okay? He has a dog, but I got past. What's that? <laughs> Idiot. Whose house is this? Dante Romero, king of the pigs. Wait, the sheriff? Yep. You know Ma's beef with him goes way back. Even before he sent me to juvie. I know, but... But what? Way I see it, he owes us. So, we ought to fuck this place up a little, while we're at it. All right, I won't stop you. What'd you do that for? They might test it or something. Oh, come on. This is two rock, not NYPD blue. Now get looking for that safe. <sighs> no safe here. He left his wallet. Told you he's an idiot. You find anything? No. Maybe it's upstairs? Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. What are you doing? It's for my girlfriend. You don't have a girlfriend. Shut up! I'm working on it. Hey! When life gives you lemons... <laughs> Come here. Help me get a little payback. We shouldn't waste time. And anyway, that's gross. Ah, you're a fucking wimp. You know that? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Listen to yourself. All right, enough screwing around. You look upstairs, and I'll check the rest of the rooms down here. Okay. Repairing jumbo jets, you think I'd be able to fix a car? You okay? Yeah, sure. 
Seen one motel, you've seen them all. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna get a bottle of water. Ryan's mom said I could stay over tonight. Don't wait up. Hello? Hey, sorry about that. Thanks for waiting. Hi. We got in an accident a few miles east of here. I don't suppose you ever comes in the number for a tow truck? Ooh, no dice. Our mechanic's away in Tucson for the weekend. All right, then, just the two rooms. That'll be 70. <laughs> Cash only. I've got, uh, 52. That's enough for one room. Hey, Joyce! I'm doing something! Please, if you could trust me to pay the rest tomorrow, it would mean a lot. My daughter, she really needs her sleep, and my dad is one hell of a snorer. Oh, the sweetheart. If this is all just to cheat me out of a few dollars... Hi, I'm Michelle. Thanks so much for accommodating us. Well, we're not exactly full. Glad to help. It was a fuse again. Problem with not having breakers is... Oh, hey. Welcome to Two Rock. Paul, do me a favor. Go ask Norman to tow this guy's car back here to the lot. Ah, uh, dang. You burst a tire or something? I I'm pretty good at fixing stuff. Engine problem, actually. But you're welcome to try. It's a red SUV. East. You can't miss it. I'm on it. Hey, do I know you? Nah. People just mistake me for Clint Eastwood. Ugh. Thank God we're out of that heat. <laughs> Are we on vacation now? Do we get to go in the pool? Oh, you know what? Our swimsuits are in the moving truck. And stop jumping on the bed, okay? Then, can I watch the Nature Channel? Please? Hey, I said stop jumping. I'll stop if you let me watch my show. It's educational. All right, but only a half hour. Yay! Thank you, Daddy. And you have to tell me some cool facts afterwards. Man, we raised one hell of a negotiator. It's been a tough day. She can have this one. Uh. You okay? Ah, uh, I don't know. It feels pretty sore. Would you mind rubbing it for a minute? Uh. Nice room. Looks just like mine. Well, I'm gonna take Zeus for a walk. Vince, uh, would you mind joining me? Didn't we just walk a mile? Well, he has to pee, and I wanna talk to you about something. Uh, you go ahead. I'm gonna stay. Can I come? You're the one I was really hoping for. <laughs> Thank you for staying. I know I'm irritable when it comes to your dad. Don't worry about it. I had you back in the car earlier, didn't I? It's just... You know what he wants, right? He's gonna ask you if he can move in with us. Oh, God, you think? I'd bet money on it. I mean, well, maybe we should consider it. His cancer's only going one way. I feel for him. I just... I don't know if I trust him. He disappeared from your life for almost 30 years. I don't want him doing that to Zoe. I know. But back then, he bounced between rehab centers like a pinball. He He's different now. Come on, give me your shoulders. 
Oh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> but go lower. Mm. Oh, right there. That's the spot. Oh, that's great, Vince. Thank you. You know, when I picked Zoe up yesterday, her teacher kept telling me what a smart kid she is. That she's ahead on reading and numbers. Was there ever any doubt? She also said that, with Zoe changing schools, it might be worth thinking about her skipping first grade and going straight into second. Wait, what? That's what I said. But then I thought about it, and maybe this could be really good for her. She'd be challenged, learn new things. Michelle, no. She'll be the runt of the class. They'll take her lunches and stuff them up a tree. Or she'll have a bunch of great friends who just happen to be a few months older than her. Oh, I don't know. She's already moving to a new state. Things at home have been... You know, she heard us fighting the other night. Does she really need more stress? Of course not. But maybe we just take a leap on this one? <sighs> okay. If you think it's a good idea. Really? I want what's best for her. She'll just have to make taller friends. <laughs> well, great. I'll get the ball rolling on Monday. And hey, look. About the other night. Daddy, the car's back! Grandpa told me to come get you. He did? Well, great. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some snacks from a vending machine. You want anything? Uh, no. We're good. So, Bill turns to Hillary and says, but I thought the Gaza Strip was a top in his bar. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is where the party is. Oh, hey there. Got your car towed back for you. You were right. It's more than I can fix with duct tape and a socket wrench. What do I owe you? Nothing. Your guests. Get it around back, quick. What in the world? On the ground, now! I said, get on the ground! Good boy. Now hang on. You don't need to call for help. Nobody's gonna hurt you, okay? Right. Sorry. Look, we just came for the money, then we're gone. I don't know. Don't you know? Doesn't he tell you? Oh. Sorry. I shouldn't pry. <laughs> Thank you. It's fine. I'm gonna try his office. Uh, that a boy. It has to be in here.
bird watching. That's cool. Dale! I found it! What the? Where's the code? Yes! Whoa. Dale, check it out. Holy shit. <laughs> How much does this prick make? Here, let's load it up. Man, if I had as much money as this greedy asshole, I'd give it all to charity. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <sighs> Hell no, I wouldn't. I'd run and buy a 64 Pontiac GTO. Prettiest piece of metal you ever saw on four wheels. Ugh. What about you? Now what would you do if you could keep all this cash? I'd get a bus ticket and get out of this dump. Why, you gonna leave us? <sighs> Maybe. I'm 18 now. Good luck with that. Last time a Hulk got out of two rocks was never. <sighs> Play it cool when we're outside. Hey, we were plumbers. Called to check a clog. <sighs> Shit. Go. Go. Not coming up, just came from my wallet. Got your PT rescheduled for Monday, by the way. See him now. Count to ten, then go. Who are you? Just a guy who wanted a VCR. What did you do to my wife? What? On your knees, hands behind your head. This is C1. I got a 13506 in progress at 28 Northwood Drive. Send back up now. Nice work, guys. Are 
They didn't see us turn in. No. They would have slowed. Listen up! We're not here to hurt you. We don't even want your wallets. We just need a place to lay low until we can be safely on our way. Don't do anything stupid and you'll be fine. Understood? <laughs> We understand. Whatever you say. Good. That's what I want to hear. You, keep that dog quiet. Shh. It's all right, Tux. Let's just jack a car. Drive back the other way before they realize they're not chasing anyone. Too risky. If they got roadblocks. Vince, we need to do something. What can we do? They have guns. So we take their guns away and get our faces blown off. Jesus, Jim, this isn't die hard. We can't stay here. We can until dark. Then we set out cross country. It's our best shot. I'm telling you, we gotta Drop move. the weapon. <sighs> Easy now. Let's I just- I said drop it. Let's all just take a deep breath, okay? It's my motel. I'll deal with them. No, he's right. Joyce, if that thing goes off... Then I'll scrape them off the walls. But it don't have to be like that. If we help these boys out of whatever corner they got themselves stuck in... I'm not helping them with shit. Show me your faces. I said take off the masks. No. You're the Holt boys. You're the ones who hit our car. Paul, take the shotgun. I... I, I can't. Christ. Really, Paul? You, grab the gun. <laughs> now point it at him. Uh, you do that, I promise you'll regret it. You've never held a gun a day in your life. I learned quick, though. You touch my things again, you won't be happy. Hey, you get the truck hit away? It's... it's in a shutout back. Tyler, these people didn't do anything to us. They will if we let them. You and Dale, line them all up. I need to make a call. It's me. We got a problem. Desert Dream Motel. Think I don't know that. All right, shitheads. Over by the tables. You boys. You haven't hurt anyone, have you? Yeah, we killed the president. Ain't that right, bro? You're the middle brother. The one who got himself sent off to juvenile hall. Shut the fuck up. Why? Everybody knows. Joyce, don't. From what I hear, you're just like your daddy. Another fucked up Holt thinks the world's his to break. What, like this? <laughs> or how about this? <laughs> Is that necessary? Are you necessary? <laughs> Shut it up. Now. He's a dog. He doesn't have an off switch. It's just nervous, Dale. I don't care what it feels. I want it to shut up. Hey, hey, Zeus. Remember me? I said, shut it the fuck up. Dale, what are you doing? It's called controlling the room. By pointing guns at puppies? Wasn't breaking the Kasdan boy's jaw enough for you? Don't you start with me! Or what? You'll break my face too? Or are you just gonna shoot me? 
Zeus, quiet. Jim, give him here. That's it. Good boy. Nice and calm. Shit. Hey. Easy, Zeus. Easy. There. Are you happy? Now put the gun down. You should be ashamed of yourself. You know what? I'm tired of you. Tape her mouth shut. Do your own dirty work. Hey, wake up. Uh, why is there so much luggage in your SUV? Huh? <sighs> Who else are you traveling with, huh? You tell me the truth now. Just me and my father. We're on a road trip to sort of get to know each other again. There's a lot of stuff for just two men. No, it's true. It's just him and the older fella. I checked him and myself. There's no one else. You know something? I don't like you. You got this look like you're scared shitless. Tell me I'm wrong. You don't know the first thing about who I am. Don't I? Nope. With this tough guy act of yours, that I can see through. Let's just hope your walk's as cool as your talk. <laughs> it's a cop. What do we do? That's just Big Sam. He buys a soda, talks for a while, then he's gone. Jay, in the back. Go with him. Mm -hmm. Get rid of the cop. You hear me? Sure thing, boss. <gasps> you two, keep your mouths shut and this will all be over faster. <laughs> You're coming with me. Hey there. Evening. Hey, Sam. Paul, how's things? Slow as usual. Yeah, like my daddy always said. If you don't slow down, you don't see the wall before you hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Where's uh, Joyce and her kid? Upstairs? Oh, uh, Ash is at a friend's house for the night, and Joyce isn't feeling well. She's been in bed for days. Well, sorry to hear that. Say, uh, you haven't seen three fellas in a blue pickup, have you? Maybe out on the road somewhere? Nope. Been here all day. How you liking the desert dream? Oh, uh, can't complain. Yeah, Joyce runs herself a tight ship. <sighs> so, who else are you traveling with? Oh, just me and my dad over there. Evening, officer. Oh. So, uh, why the booster seat? Huh? I saw your car when I pulled in. California plates? What, that one? That's not mine, no. It's the only out-of-towner out there. From a guy with, um, you know, kids. Borrowed it, huh? Can I, uh, ask what brings you to Two Rock? We're um, headed to Mexico for a little R&R. &R. Oh, my wife and I love it there. Which city? Uh, 
Rocky Point? Yeah, had our honeymoon down that way. Uh, make sure you have yourself some uh, Pesca de Rero tacos. That's the fish. Will do. Big Sam, where you at? <laughs> There's a dream, but I'm on my way back. Anyway, we're looking for three idiots who broke into the sheriff's house. If you can believe anyone would be that stupid. They're armed and dangerous, so if you hear anything, you call 911. Any idea who it was? Nah, they covered their faces so they uh, wouldn't be recognized. Oh, is that why? Which choice better for me? Daddy, I'm gonna skip first grade! What took you so long? Hang on, who are you? I'm his wife. Is something the matter? You're his, uh, right. You said it was just you and your dad. Vince, what's happening? Come on, we need to get Zoe out of here. What? Why? Just do it. Ho hold on. Dispatch, this is 1742. I, uh, I have suspicious circumstances at my location. Please send additional... Sam! No! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. You lie about your family? And try to get us caught? A gun anymore. Tell him to let her go. If I did that, it wouldn't be a standoff. Vince, maybe you should put the gun down. Or maybe you keep your toys for once. Is this really what you want? In front of your kid? I knew you'd be sensible, but I can't let you get away with that.
I never killed a person before today, and I don't want to do it again. But you are really pushing your luck. Dale, get the duffel bag. We're out of here. Oh my god. I thought I'd lost you. Me too. My legs are shaking. Vince, you can't try to fight these people. I know why you did it, but you just can't. I was scared. I wasn't thinking. I know. I just... I don't want to lose you. Believe me, I don't want to lose anyone. Daddy, did they hurt you? Oh, sweetie, I'm fine. <sighs> Two days from now, we'll be in St. Louis, and it'll be like none of this ever happened. <gasps> Guys, we're not going anywhere. Fuck! It's Dante. He'll get us out of here. You got more faith in him than I do. <laughs> This is Sheriff Romero of the Two Rock County Sheriff's Department. But you assholes know that already. The good news is, in Arizona, burglary is a Class 3 felony. You can practically get off with a warning. The bad news is, your dipshit spoke into my house and shot me. If I wasn't wearing my vest. How'd they even find us? Someone called 911. Jay, check they can't get in the back. Smart, you'll save me some trouble and just give yourselves up. Keep the ringer on in there. I'm gonna call you to negotiate your surrender. We're not talking with this asshole. Right? Okay, Sam. Please acknowledge. Take him in the back there and destroy that radio. Dante will get us out. He's too strong-minded for his own good half the time, but he gets things done. <laughs> what does that mean? He's gonna help us, right? He's sheriff of the smallest county in Arizona, but acts like he's the king of the Southwest. He can be a hell of a headache, but hopefully the headache we need. Wonder if he knows Ash isn't here tonight. Ash is your son? Yeah. Best thing I ever did. We're sitting ducks here. I say we stick to the plan. Take our chances with a hostage. The back gate's chained up. There's no way in. Tyler, I don't know. Maybe we should just give ourselves- Don't say it. Romero's impatient, and these small town cops couldn't catch a cold. Our best move is to wait. <sighs> Is someone gonna get that? The police are gonna catch you and put you in jail. You cut it out or I'll put you in a corner. Hey! You can't talk to my granddaughter like that. She's six years old. She's just speaking her mind. Yeah, I'm speaking my mind. <gasps> Enough! Next person who talks is going in the back office. <sighs> There's a second phone back there. If you could reach Dante without them knowing. You're not going to put anyone in that office. Believe me, I will. No offense, but I think you're just hot wind. All right, that's it. Into the back. No. Don't separate us. He'll stay quiet. Michelle, it's fine. It's not fine. None of this is fine. I think you both need a little time out. Jay, make sure nobody answers the damn phone.
keep your mouth shut. And don't make me come in here again. What was that all about? There's a second phone. If the sheriff calls again... Good thinking. Can you get your hands free? Yeah, it's no good. It's too tight. All right. How do we do this? Friction, maybe. Or we use scissors. Or we use scissors. Think you can knock that pen holder to the floor? That's it. It's gonna fall. Try to cover the noise. I'll cough. On three. One, two. If it's the cops, they're gonna keep calling. Can you reach the scissors? Quick, I'll block the door. I'm in the Desert Dream Motel. Can you connect me directly to the sheriff? This is Sheriff Romero. Who am I talking to? My name is Vincent Walker, and I'm... My family, we're hostages in here. Whoa, slow down there, Vince. Now, I can help you. But you gotta relax those nerves first, all right? I may not have much time. Look, I need to know. Where's my deputy? He's... They sh shot him. He's dead. Hello? We called him Big Sam. He was a good man. What else can you tell me about what's going on in there? Look, uh, my dad, he's got brain cancer. He isn't hurt exactly, but with all the stress. I hear what you're saying. We'll get him out, okay? What else? You're good. Keep going. I have a six-year-old, Zoe. She's not hurt, but... God, the things she's seen today. Oh, poor thing. We'll get her out of there, okay? Yeah, okay. Hey! They've blocked the door! Shit! Vince, this door won't hold. Joyce and Paul are both doing okay. Yeah, Joyce is tough. I always told her she could have been a cop if she wanted. How about a kid? He's at a friend's house, I think. Oh, that's good. I'm almost out of time. Listen, Vince, we're gonna put an end to this thing. Sooner than you think. Just keep your eyes open, okay? Next time you talk to one of my hostages behind my back, I take him to the window and shoot him. Keep your people 30 yards from the motel and don't call us again. What did you tell him? Nothing. I didn't have time. You're lying to me. He's not. They barely said hello. These cops, they might work for the county, but they are loyal to him, and he does not care about any of us. And you do? Leaving you two alone together was a dumb no, idea. Let go! That hurts! You should never have come to Two Rock. So, let's see. Twelve years as a flight mechanic. Pretty high up. Then, one day, bam. Bits of engine all over the hangar. Two workers hospitalized, and another in the morgue. All because you left a lug nut loose on a DC-10. No, that wasn't me. It was a faulty compressor disc. The airline was cutting corners. I kept warning them, but... It's still your word against theirs. My advice? Sign the form. 
Take the money. It's a generous offer. It's a gag order. If I sign that, it's professional suicide. Look, keep the check. It won't even cover my rent for a year. All I want is my job back. Mr. Walker, with all due respect, you'll never work for an airline again regardless. Now, do yourself a favor. Pick up the pen. You could stick your gag order and your pen right up your ass! Oh, so you do got a little fight left in you, huh? <gasps> Shit. <clears throat> Hello? Sorry. You're probably busy packing. I just picked Zoe up from swimming. We'll be home soon. Everything okay? Oh, uh... Yeah, yeah, I just... I just had the strangest dream. I was back in the lawyer's office. A dream? At this time of day? While I was packing, you know, like, dreaming about our, our new life in Missouri. As long as everything's boxed up and in good shape for the landlord. I know this move is a big step and tons of stress, but I've got a really good vibe about it, Vince. We'll be back by seven. I'm just gonna pick up Chinese. <sighs> Zoe! Sorry, gotta go. Sure, okay, but... <sighs> I can't believe I fell asleep. All right, big man. You got until seven to get this apartment ship shape and ready to go. Where do you want to start? Dish is done. I guess some dreams never get off the ground. Yeah, we're good. We're good. What's next? Seems like I'm packing my whole world away. <sighs> so long, Sacramento. Anything like the cold air unit on a flight deck, there should be... Well, this is obviously alien technology. Cool, ethereal, thermostat control. It's AC by Vince. Hi, Pumpkin. How was your last day? Okay, I guess. Millie gave me her address, but I'm gonna miss her. No, I hear you. It's a big change for everyone. We'll write to her as soon as we get to St. Louis. Okay, gotta help Mommy now. Why don't you run upstairs and get your PJs on? Are you gonna put me to bed tonight? Sure thing, kiddo. <laughs> I know you worked hard today, so I got you your favorite.
Mmm, shrimp. By the way, did the moving company call? Um, nope. Awesome. You took care of everything. Hey, Buster, of course I did. Vince's moving company at your service. Why, yes, <laughs> we do accept tips. That might be taking it too far. Oh, I don't know. I'll be living on handouts if I mess up this new job. You remember what you told me when I got laid off from the tax office? Make sure you empty the stationery cupboard on your way out? <laughs> no. You told me that change only hurts when you try to stop it happening. And you were right. If I hadn't gotten laid off, I would never have finished my PhD application or gotten my job at the university. I get it. Focus on the positives. God, I'm starving. Zoe's already eaten, but I haven't had a chance all day. <sighs> I'll get her ready for bed. Will you get noodled up? <laughs> Come on. Let's get your jammies on. So, how are you feeling about the move tomorrow? Looking forward to it? I dreamed that the movers took my... my star lamp. And I was so scared because I never sleep in the dark. Hey, you know what? I had a bad dream recently about something I can't get off my mind and I wish I could. Was it about the dark? No, but the thing about dreams is maybe sometimes they're trying to tell us something. Like what? We all have things that scare us, like the dark. And that's okay. I guess we just learn to live with it until maybe one day we won't be afraid anymore. So when I'm older, I might not even need my star lamp. <laughs> Try to sleep. <clears throat> okay. Love you all the way to the moon. Love you too. <laughs> Ugh, this moving company better show up tomorrow. How hard is it to send a confirmation message? Settled already? <laughs> well done. I'd better go kiss her goodnight before she drops off. Well, there you go. I bet that's them right now. Who's Bruce? Why did the lights go out? It's a power outage. We get them all the time here. It's no outage. It's the damn sheriff. Dale, keep a lookout. On it. I need to get the hell out of here. Okay, that's the desk. Hairpin. Could be useful. And make sure the windows are locked. Jay, now. Come on. Hey. Hey! You. A place like this gotta have a generator. There's one out back, but it doesn't work. So I suppose I I can't believe that actually worked. You see anything? Nah. Too dark out there. I can barely see us. Get some rope. We should tie up the hostages. Hey, did you hear something? I'll check the back door. Zoe's up there. She's scared of the dark. They're coming for you. You know that, right? Shut up, Joyce. I'm serious. Should we run? Take our chances cross country? Just keep quiet. Let me think. Zoe, it's me. 
Pumpkin, it's Daddy. Wait! Don't shoot! Zoe, get away from him! Daddy! I didn't hurt her. I promise. Then what were you just saying to her? We heard something on the roof. I thought if the cops heard us, they might start shooting. Zoe, you okay? Daddy, I, I don't want to be here anymore. You need to be strong right now, Pumpkin. I thought you said it's okay to be scared. I know I did. But right now, we have to be brave. I need your help tonight. Do you understand? I think so. Good. Do you think they're gonna try to come in? I'm pretty sure. Any minute now. I don't want to go to jail. Then maybe you'd better hide. Listen, I'm gonna get us out of here before... before the lights come back on. Okay? With Mommy and Grandpa? Of course. We won't leave them behind. Are you guys all right? Oh, you found her. Thank God. Where are the Holtz? I think they went out the back. We need to get out of here. Give me your wrists. Are you hurt? No. Are you? Down! Don't shoot! We're hostages! Stay down and don't move. Where are the perps? Dangerous. I'm not dying in this goddamn motor lot. What the hell are you doing? Grandpa! <gasps> Sanchez is hit! I knew this was a bad idea. Fall back! Fall back! Hold fire! Repeat, hold your fire! I said 30 fucking yards! You try that again, and every last one of them leaves in a body bag! Oh. Jim. Jim, can you hear me? Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. Vince? Is Grandpa uh. hurt? I don't know, honey. Jim, are you okay? Dad, he needs an ambulance. Get him an ambulance. He looks all right. Maybe just a concussion. It's not just that. He's got a brain tumor. 
If he got hit in the wrong spot or something? Oh, shit. You still with us, Grandpa? Oh, God. This is... This is all my fault. If I hadn't been so hell-bent on making amends. Hey, are you with us? Why'd you sprint for the door like that, huh? I shouldn't have come back. I never even paid the bill. What bill? Jim, what are you talking about? Uh, I'll, I'll be all right. I, I just need a, a minute to, to get my... Easy now. He needs to see a doctor. Dale, go see if you can barricade the second floor. Mm. <sighs> what? No, no, stop. You listen to me. What I want is a helicopter or I start killing hostages. Huh? That's right. And safe passage to Mexico. Mexico? Since when? Since now. Look, you boys are in way over your heads. You couldn't even nail a burglary. Now you want a helicopter? Spare me the lecture. Can you do it? I'll look into it. First, I need a show of faith. Let one of the hostages go. I ain't much of one for faith. All right. So let's make it practical. You must be hungry for a hot meal. All right. How about we send you food, you release a hostage, and then I start on that helicopter. Does that work? Pizza. Enough from that shitty joint in town. Franco's, that you delight. Give me 20 minutes. <sighs> Good news, folks. One of you's going home. Finally got confirmation from the movers. Tomorrow morning. Good to go. Hmm. At least we get one last California sunset. Thirteen years ago, I couldn't wait to leave St. Louis. First person in the family to go to college. <laughs> My mom. I'll never forget that look of pride as she waved me goodbye. But you know what? I never realized how proud I'd feel to be going back. I just wish it didn't involve so much stuff. Ugh. Is there anything more stressful than moving? There is. I don't want to know. Well, this time next week, we'll be in our new place. Zoe will have a yard to run around <laughs> in. We just have to survive three days in the car with your father first. Anyway, tonight is our last night, and it seems so long since we, you know. Mm. So, how about we make it one to remember? Oh, by the way, you got a message. Something about Cupcake? Why did you... Vince, you've been reading my messages? No, I would never. Jesus, Vince. <sighs> Some things are private. <sighs> It'll wake Zoe. Hello? Thank you. It's been nice working with you, too. 
Oh, I'm sure you'll all do just fine without me. Hey, do you mind if I, um... <gasps> Vince! Hi, is this Bruce? Uh, can you put Michelle back on? It is Bruce, right? Yeah, it's Bruce. So? I hear you like cupcakes. Vince, give me the phone. Weird, he hung up. What the hell has gotten into you? What are you fighting about? <sighs> Zoe. Hey, you should be in bed. I, I couldn't sleep. Even with my star lamp on. Daddy. Yes, sweetie? We'll always live together, right? You, me, and mommy? Always. Even when we're old and gray and you have to tuck us in at night. So, uh, this Bruce dude. Hmm? Oh, he's just one of the macroeconomics lecturers. We did some research together on the Ecuador financial crisis. There isn't much else to say. <sighs> you never said anything about him before. I have. Plenty of times, but whenever I try to talk about work, you switch off. I don't switch off. I just don't remember you talking about him. Let's forget about all this. Don't let it ruin our last night. We've got a long few days ahead of us. Something about it doesn't add up. You've been working late, more than usual. Because I... Because I'm changing schools. I need to leave on a high note. You know, last week you said that you had to stay in great papers. But you came back smelling of... of wine. And perfume. Look at me. Vince. I know things have been hard. This last year wasn't a great one for us. But nothing happened between me and Bruce. Can you please believe me? I'm sorry. Maybe I overreacted. It's just... Like you said, I've lost a lot this year. Don't want to lose you too. I know. It's all right. Now come here. Wait, wait. Stop. Are you okay? No, it's fine. I'm just, um, I'm just tired with the move and everything. We better get some sleep. We have a long drive tomorrow. Good night. Night. Vince, I'm worried about your dad. Head injuries, bad enough on their own. But if he's got something up there pushing against his brain... How's he doing? In pain. But he wants Zoe to be the one sent out. And Vince, he's right. We've seen what these people are capable of. Please, just get her somewhere safe. Okay, I got your veggie pizzas. We want to get them while they're hot, so send me a hostage. Come on, old man. You're going for a walk. Uh, not me. Please. <laughs> T take Zoe. I'm... Uh... Well, there's nothing wrong with me. I don't care who goes, but only one of them.
It's gotta be Zoe. She's seen enough for one night. Fine. Take her out, grab the food, come on back. I'm watching you, Vince. I know this is scary. But you're gonna have to be a brave girl out there, okay? I will. Come on, kiddo. Hey, look. You dropped this. <laughs> Her name's Owl. Owl, huh? You know they can see in the dark. Thanks. Okay, they're coming out. Stay right where you are. I've got eyes on two hostages. One male, one female child approaching from the front of the building. Over. Daddy, is Grandpa going to die? <sighs> The answer's no, because I'm here, and you know what I am? An aircraft mechanic? You're supposed to say superhero. Anyway, I promise no one from our family is gonna die. That's far enough. I'm Sheriff Romero, and I guess you must be Vince. And you must be Zoe, right? <laughs> Your daddy told me all about you. <laughs> Best if we make this quick. You know how much I loved you, right? All... all the way to the moon. That's right. You get scared, you just look up at the sky and remember that, okay? Okay. Put the kid in the vehicle. Stay with her. <sighs> Daddy, please, don't go. I have to, Pumpkin. But what if you don't come back? Mommy will always be there to take care of you. But what if she gets hurt too? She won't, Pumpkin. I promise you. Hey, hurry it up! Come on, kid. <sighs> Give him the food and send him back in. I know how hard this must be for you, Vince. Hell, it's hard for me, too. Those fuckers shot me. But, I've got good news. Yeah? We're about to have a man on the inside. Now pick him up and don't do anything stupid. Hey, don't forget the napkins. Two-way pager. I'll be in touch soon. Enjoy your pizzas. Hey, it's the pizza guy. You're late. No tip. Well, what do you know? A cop kept his word. Pizza ain't hard. A helicopter, though. Look, I know you didn't want this, but you got Romero wrapped around your finger. You do. I really hope you're right. I spent 10 years saving up for this place. Ash only just started to feel at home. How can we stay here now? We'll give the walls a fresh coat of paint. Replace the glass, you'll see. It'll be good as new. It's not the walls. It's what happened within them. Vince. Is Zoe okay? She's fine. How's your head? 
throbbing, but I think I'm going to live. So, did you meet the sheriff out there? Yeah, you could say that. What's he like? Seems like he's got a handle on things. I think. We'll see. Won't really know until the shit hits the frying pan. You want my take? Steer clear. Now, don't share this, but Dante's a cousin of mine, and him being sheriff? Ain't no one in the family thought that was a good idea. What are you doing? I'm counting out cash. Jay, you gonna eat? <sighs> Not hungry. I want it to be over, Tyler. All of it. It'll be over when we win. You remember that? And do your part. You need some goddamn food. Share that with the rest of us? Um, nope. Don't think I do. Are you serious? Are you deaf? Hmm? No, you can't have any. What do you mean we can't have any? There's six pizzas. For us. So back the fuck off. You asshole. Paul has low blood sugar. It's fine. I'll eat from the vending machine. No. I said no. The answer is no. Hey, how about we just do what we're told, huh? What the hell, man? We're all hungry. They need their strength. We can eat when we're free. When did you start giving two shits about us? You let one of us go. That counts for something. I really don't care what you think counts for what. They giving you problems? Nah. I got this. Oh. Shit. Sorry. Idiot. <laughs> Clean it up. Mm. You know what the trouble with you is? You get too fucking involved. If you just stayed quiet to begin with, we'd be gone by now. <laughs> Never thought of it like that. What you don't get is, this ain't us. We needed money, but it's not like... Tyler, he built shit. Jay's into nature. Me? Yeah, I robbed the liquor store once, but I'm getting a job soon. There's this girl I got my eye on. It's it. not here. Though, why Jessica would date me after this shit, I got no idea. Sounds like some hard shit, man. Oh, fuck you. No, I'm being serious. I see your point. Well, whoop de fucking do You see my point? Hallelujah. Hey, I was just trying to, you know... What? Feel sorry for me? Go fuck yourself, asshole. Whatever. Enjoy the pizza. I don't think pizza's happening, guys. <sighs> oh, I wasn't hungry anyway. You got my helicopter? Yeah, I got it. The FAA's cleared you to cross between Mexicali and El Paso. Now, uh, before I authorize the landing, I want to have a talk. 
about why you picked my house. Face to face. Out front. Or there's no deal. What's he playing at? Some kind of trap? <sighs> Maybe. But right now, we need to play his game. How about I go? I got some things I could say to him. No way. I told Ma I'd look after you. It's all right. I put my big boy pants on today. You mess with us, it's the hostages who pay. You'll be fine. You have my word. Pizza boy, you and I are going for a stroll. Hey, tell Dante he better get us out of here. You have to hold me so tight. It's not my fault your neck's so fat. I'm coming out! Damn. I can't wait to be on a beach somewhere. Eating tamales, drinking tequila. Damn, you're almost there. Just keep a cool head. Cool head, right. You sound like Tyler. Come on, please make it back. Guess who? Dale fucking Holt. <laughs> now you were the ones in my house. Yep. Nice place you got there, asshole. Vince. Didn't think I'd see you again so soon. Well, that's reassuring. I never thanked you from my shoulder. I was aiming for your heart, but I guess you ain't got one. Hmm. You know. You were small time before today. That ugly assault a couple summers back. <laughs> so petty theft. Oh, but now look at you. You boys sure have made a name for yourselves. I'll do you one better, jackass. I pissed in your lemonade. Anyway... I believe you have something of mine. Yeah. Your money. Not the money. My black book. Where is it? The fuck are you talking about? Don't play games with me! One step closer and I blow his fucking head off, I swear. Tell me where it is. I told you already. I don't know anything about that. Have it your way. Sniper on the fucking water tower. We ain't getting that chopper, are we? Vince. It's okay. I'm all right.
Everybody does a little dance with the devil. And everybody's got a little hole in the middle. Everybody does a little dance with the devil. What was he talking about, huh? What goddamn black book? He was just messing with your mind, Dale. So they could get the shot off. Jesus Christ. I swear I never come so close to shitting myself. I, know. I saw Zoe out there. She had her face pressed up to the window of the police car like... Right. Like an abandoned puppy. She's safe, right? There's somebody watching her? I wouldn't trust the police to watch the tide come in. <laughs> I'm sure she's fine. Ten years working here under three different managers. <laughs> Worst thing ever happened before was a rattlesnake in the bathroom. Take a minute. Get your shit together. Hey! What are you doing over here? I cut the guy a break. He just saved my life out there. He helped us one time. Doesn't mean he'll do it twice. Look, I ain't saying we should give up. But what are we supposed to do now, huh? No helicopter? That pig Romero don't care if we're dead or alive. I don't know anymore. Don't you point that thing at me. Ma'am, this is a live operation. Uh, <sighs> Sheriff, uh, should I arrest her? Sharon? Sharon, you, you can't just... What the hell do you think you're doing? It's Ma. Dante, please. My boys are in there. And they wouldn't have robbed my house without you knowing about it. Still, if you want them out, you let me in. Dispatch, standby. We have a situation developing. Excuse me, deputy. Uh, Sheriff? Sharon, better not make me regret this. Open up before he changes his mind already, will ya? Hmm. Uh. Ma? Why are you here? I got this! <clears throat> you clearly do not. Hi, Ma. Hey, Mama. Hi, sweethearts. Hmm. Paul? Sharon? Hmm. Hope you're here to talk some sense into your boys. You two friends or something? Long story. So how did this whole thing become such a damn clusterfuck? 
Romero's house. He tries to break in. We ask for a helicopter. He lures us outside, takes a shot at Dale. I swear to God, I could kill that lousy crook. <sighs> Got something to say? Nope. Come on now. How have my sons been treating you? Well, they took me and my family hostage. Completely traumatized my daughter. So yeah, not great. You know that wasn't the plan, right? So I keep hearing. What's your name? Vince. He's a family man. Been trouble from the beginning. Always arguing. He saved your brother's life! Family man, huh? I get that. You probably think my boys are monsters, but desperate days make for desperate men. They're scared, just like you are, just like I am. So tell you what, you help me take care of my family, I'll help you take care of yours. Deal? Okay, look. The sheriff, he, um, he gave me something. A two-way pager. He uh, what? He wants that book he was talking about. He said if I don't get it... You're working with the cops? Whoa, whoa, wait! Just hold on now! Tyler Douglas Holt! You let go of him this instant. I gave him my word. <sighs> so Dante tries to turn you, but you turn on him instead? Why? I've seen a lot tonight, and I think despite everything, your sons are good people caught in a bad situation. Well, you're not wrong. Us holds draw the short end of the stick way more than chance should allow. But tonight, we'll change that. Tyler, we should talk in private. That idiot Dante thinks I'm helping him. Dale, Jay, don't you worry. I'll get you out of here. You're helping them? Just Seriously? I'm in here doing his job for him. But we don't have long before he figures it out. None of it went right, Mom. None of it. Just like I told you on the phone, we were gonna lay low here till Romero got bored of chasing him on the tail. Next thing we do half the sheriff's department. I'm pretty much totally making this up as I go. So if you have any ideas. Why'd you let me talk you into Route 66? We could have gone through Utah. Nothing but Mormons and salt flats. You think Zoe will be okay? After going through all this? She's got a lot of fight in her for someone so little. <laughs> I think she gets it from you. Some of the moves you've pulled tonight, I think we can both take the credit. Dante, it's Sharon. Oh, for crying out loud, just listen. Forget the helicopter. What we want is a school bus. Big enough for us and the hostages. Wait, we're taking them with us? We're safer that way. Well, I know I said that. Is it my fault you're gullible? Stop, 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 stop. Look, if this goes until morning, you'll have the state police here, maybe the FBI. And we both know that having them on your turf is the last thing you... <sighs> I can live with that. Call me when it's ready. Hey, what's that in your pocket? It's just a book about birds. Huh. Some kind of hiding place. Honey, where'd you get this? It belonged to the sheriff. I, I thought... There was something in it. Could you have dropped it somewhere? I... I don't know. I haven't looked at it since we got to the motel. It might be in the truck out back. But Romero's got a sniper up on the hill. He'll go. Me? We're in this together now, family man. And Jay, you go too. If he tries anything, do what you have to.
last, the hunter returns. Cut some cottontails. Big deal. I promised Ma we'd fix this roof, or it won't last another storm. Here, make yourself useful. Yeah, we replaced most of them. Need you to cut me some new ones. Think you can handle that? I've done it before. Mm. Pine. Easy enough to saw, easy enough to fuck up. So don't. I won't. Hey, bro, what kind of timber you got there? Uh, ain't softwood, so... You saying you got hard wood? That's right. Hey, Tyler, says he's got hard wood. <laughs> Maybe you need a cold shower. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. I almost forgot. I got something for you. Yeah? Whoa! <laughs> Should've known better. I fucking taught him that. Uh. Hey! Wanna get high? Nah. Still got some shit to unload. I don't think so. Sure? <laughs> Whoa! Don't let go. Don't let go. <laughs> well, lucky, lucky. I hope I ain't disturbing your fun. Pa? Huh? What? No hug for your old man? Oh, fuck. Party's over. Hey, boys. I guess you finished the roof then. Seeing as you giggling like a bunch of girls. It's coming along just fine. What? That's your work? No. It was me. Well, you ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. But you're better than your brothers. Faster too, I'd wager. Would have finished it sooner if you bothered helping us. I had business in town. <laughs> and how much you lose this time? Come on, Jay. You ain't too old for a whooping, Tyler. Hey, fuck off and leave him alone. Do yourself a favor, son, and step aside. When my pappy used to take off his wristwatch, it was because it was time for a beating I wouldn't forget. Hold this. In God's name, are you fighting over this time? Nothing. Just complimenting the boys on the fine work. I didn't hear you come back. Why? Were you gonna roll out the red carpet? 
<laughs> so you can tramp your dirty boots all over it? <sighs> Cleaning up another of your messes is the last thing I need. Now, is someone please gonna tell me what this is about? Jay? I... Uh, caught some cottontails. Thanks, son. Always thinking of us. You don't have to cover for your daddy. Uh... I ain't cooked enough for five, so if you want lunch, you're making it yourself. No thanks. I lost my appetite. Jay, you better take those rabbits inside. I'll skin them later. We'll be right along. I'll fix us some cold drinks. Present some business acquaintances of your father's. Ah, <sighs> that is good. I can see this is a well run home. I only got a yell, and my brothers will come. Now hold your horses, young man. I think you should at least listen to what I have to say. Hmm, now let me guess. You're too young to be Dale, and Tyler is much taller, or so I understand. Uh... Which means you must be Jay. I've been sent with a requisition. A what? Is your father home? I haven't seen him all week. Please, don't insult my intelligence. They sent me to collect a down payment. Huh? Hmm. May I? No. <laughs> Please, I think it's time you went. You know what? You're rude. And I'm out of matches. Hey, not in the house. Now why would you care? Your house may seem clean, but even I can see it. You're just one poker game short of being trailer trash. At least we don't have to dress like you. Hmm. Of course not. The only time people like you wear suits is when they're up before a judge. Now you hear this. If your pa doesn't pay his gambling debt with interest, owing money will be the least of his troubles. Understand? Us? You catch on real quick. After me, others will come. And they like to shoot first, smoke later. If you catch my drift. That watch on your wrist. Valuable, is it? Why? I'm not leaving without my down payment. <sighs> you give me that watch, and I'll buy you some time. Come on. Hand it over. I ain't agreeing to nothing, so back off. Just like your father, always playing the wrong hand. Ow! Get off me! Keep Ow! still, you little runt. Jay, I forgot my damn watch. Hey! I told your people to stop bothering me. 
Now get off my property and go back to whatever piss stinking hole you crawled out of. <sighs> your own grave, Holt. Your families, too. You'll be hearing from us. Bring it on. I see you or any of your shit heel friends back here. I'll burn you alive. I tried to take it. No. I asked you to take care of it. You did. It's yours. Mine? Took some guts standing up to that son of a bitch. I'm proud of you, son. Thank you. Who was that? Jehovah's Witness. <sighs> More of your bear shit. Jay, what was that? <sighs> For the love of God, Jay, I have a right to know what's going on in my own house. Don't know. I didn't see. Right. And I'm Janet fucking Jackson. What have you gotten yourself into this time? I'll take care of it. How? By walking away? Bear, I'm talking to you. I said it's not your problem. But I'll be left picking up the pieces like always! If all you've got to offer us is trouble, why do you even bother coming home? Even when we've got nothing, he takes it away. It's all right, Mom. It's all right. The shed's in the back? Yeah. Away from the road. No fear. Gonna be awesome. Why isn't he turning off the lights? Gee, thanks, Sheriff. You okay? Couldn't be better. Hey, where were you sitting? Kind of all over. You check the cab. I'll check the bed. There you are. Is that what the sheriff wanted? Huh, it's just numbers. Department of Water and Power, $12,000. East Side Land Holdings, 8000 There's hundreds of these. What are they, bribes or something? Hey, you all right? It's nothing, just that we're so caught up in all this shit. You, me, the sheriff, my family. If you knew what I've seen the last few weeks, it's all just so messed up. <sighs> Can't you just buy a ticket on a Greyhound and get out of here? <sighs> I wish it was that easy. You ever have something you thought about doing? But you knew it was too dumb to actually go do? Sure. I used to be an aircraft mechanic. Fixed up 747s and little Cessnas and everything. 
But when I was a kid, I didn't want to fix planes, I wanted to fly them. In fact, what I really wanted to be was a flight instructor. So why didn't you? I don't know. When I had my family, I was so happy. I guess I put that dream aside because I'd found a different one. But seeing how everything turned out, maybe I should have tried. I always wanted to be a forest ranger. I wanted to go to that one place with the geyser. What's it called? Yellowstone. Yeah, that's the one. See that thing spout in the air? That'd be cool. Tell you what, let's get out of here alive tonight. Maybe we'll both get to rethink our lives a little. We should be getting back. You ever been married? Sure, to Vince's mother. I was too once. She left me. Said I drank too much. Wait, that's it. Sharon's bar. Didn't you come through here, what, 15, 20 years ago? Said you were some traveling salesman or something. Hey, I am telling you, drop it. Hey, we got it. Well, look at you two. A regular Thelma and Louise. Holy Moses. What is all this? All those transactions. Could he be selling drugs or something? Not Dante. Not his flavor of crooked. All these names? This is some kind of graft. Just can't believe he wrote it all down. Put me through to the sheriff again. I know. I'm inside it. Dante, it's Sharon. Your little whack-a-mole in here betrayed you. I've got your little black book, and I'll gladly start faxing pages to Channel 10 unless you get me that bus in the next 30 minutes. How long till the FBI gets here? Under an hour. All right, Sharon. You win. Boss, you sure? We could wait him out. Bring the goddamn bus. You shouldn't have come. It's not safe. Those cops, they shoot first, ask questions later. You doing okay? Better now. We all agree. How about you? I'm not gonna let you face it. Scared. Me too. <sighs> Won't be much longer. What if something happens to us, Vince? We drive for the border and hope like hell we don't have to stop for gas. Never pictured us going on the All I can think about is what if things go wrong out there? I know. I've been thinking about the settlement from work. The gag order and all the hush money. Yeah? If we get out of this alive, I know what I want to do. I'm not signing. I'm gonna take those fuckers to court and sue them for ten times what they offered us. Really? Vince, that's amazing. You're not mad? I thought you wanted me to put it all behind us. Exactly. I wanted to put it behind us. I don't care. It's just so good to see you fight for something again. If I win, maybe I can finally take those flight lessons. Vince. Grow up. You even realize how far past going I've been thinking a lot are? too over the last few days I'm and sorry, There's no going back now. I need to ask you something. Anything. The other night when you when I got that text message and I said it was no big deal, you just trusted me. Why? You said nothing happened, and I believe you. Do you not want me to? Of course I do. I just... Is it really that easy for you? Look, life's hard enough without me making problems that don't need to exist. You're a good man. You know that? So I've been told. 
Yeah, hi. Is Jessica there? Uh, it's Dale. Dale Halt? Uh, no. The one they caught shoplifting. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Look, I... I seen you work in that liquor store sometimes, and well... There's that bar near there, you know, the one with the pool table and all? And I just was wondering if... Um... You'd want to go there with me sometime. Well, all right. Uh, it's a date. All right, everybody, on your feet. Listen, everyone, the only way any of us gets out of here tonight is on that bus. Hostages at the windows, us in the aisle. You sure this is gonna work? Won't pretend I'm sure of anything, but I know what this family's capable of. Why is the chassis so low? Huh? Get out of the way! Bus is open. I repeat, bus is open. Take them out! Jay! Get up! Jay! Jay! Jay, get up. What? Pa? Are you hurt? I need you to drive me to the hospital. Get dressed. Don't worry, Pa. I'll get you there. you not telling your ma about the debt. I didn't like lying to her. I know. But you did the right thing. Even though it seemed like the wrong thing. <sighs> she used to think she could fix me, you know. All she wanted was a good man who'd love her back. Nobody wants to be alone. Not least your ma, anyway. So, when a woman like that says she wants you gone, well, you start thinking maybe she's right. Maybe the family don't need me no more. Ain't true. Because I do, Pa. Yeah, maybe you do. Needing and wanting ain't the same thing, no. I ain't been wanted for a while. Turn off here. The hospital's the other way. We ain't going to the hospital. Huh? Make the turn. How did you... How did you hurt your shoulder, Pa? You're a good kid. I know they say you're not supposed to have favorites, but... Tyler's trouble is too like his ma. Dale's is that he's too much like me. You're different. I can 
can talk to you, son. Trust you. We stopped here. Help me get this tarp off the back. It's heavy. Pa, what's inside? Uh. You got it? The pull. Keep pulling. Come on. He's dead? Jay, you have to listen to me. He threatened us. You heard him. So I, I went to warn him off. That's all. He attacked me, and I hit him. Uh, too hard. He fell and hit his head. I, I didn't mean to kill him. I just panicked. I guess he just got what was coming. It wasn't your fault. Exactly. You lay down with dogs, you get fleas. That's what my pappy always told me. These people are sharks. You let them smell blood, and they'll eat you whole. I wish I gave him the watch. Ain't just any old watch, son. Like I said, belong to my dear old pappy. And now, it's yours. So you keep it someplace safe. Okay. See if he's got any cash on him. Anything? Nothing. Mm. Uh, he's still warm. They'll be cold soon enough. Keep looking. We ain't got time for this. Pa, what are we gonna do? He's dead. Only one thing to do. Dig. Please, don't ask me to do that. Jay, listen to me. No one can find him. If we don't do this, the people he works for... Please, I ain't asking for me. Think of your ma. Think of your brothers. You're the only one I can trust. Pick up the shovel. Oh, man. I never told anyone this, but when I was half your age, we had this young horse, beautiful colt. Rode him most days. Then one summer, he threw me, started bucking and biting. I was lucky he didn't kill me. Next day, Pappy hands me his rifle. Says, when an animal goes bad, all a man can do is put it down. I can still smell the whiskey on his breath as he holds that horse steady. Counts to three. I squeeze the trigger and, uh, oh, that's deep enough. All those years, I hated him. Now I know he was right. It had to be done, son. That's... You were... You were just a kid. You grab his arms. I'll take his feet. Let's get him into the hole.
All right. Let's get him covered before sunrise. Look like you need it. Not for me. Too early. Ain't early. It's late. Still, no thanks. Well, after tonight, I do. <sighs> you take care of your grandpappy's watch, you hear? Been keeping time on a Hulk's wrist since the Great Depression. So you treasure it. What I ask you to do tonight, son, what you did wasn't just for me. It was for all of us. I know I'm hard on you sometimes. And maybe I'm just no good. But I've made a lot of sacrifices, Jay. Going off to war. Taking care of that stranger tonight. Family means sacrifice. Even for a fucked up old drunk like me. You ain't so bad as all that. You got your good sides, too. Maybe once. Too much water gone under the bridge now. He was right, wasn't he? Those people he worked for, they'll come for us. It's me they'll come for. But I won't give them the satisfaction. Now, get some sleep. I'm gonna go fix that roof you boys messed up. Sharon, you're not right about much, but you were right about me. Claim the insurance, it'll clear the debt. Sorry for everything. Pa! Pa! Let me do this. Please. Don't die! Don't die! 
Shut up. Left me. You're still my pa. I don't want to lose you. Life ain't about what you want. There, if you'd only talk to me. Now he's got so many pipes and tubes sticking out of him. He ain't gonna be saying anything. For now. Should've let him swing. They gave us a week to settle the debt. After that, he'll come for the house, the trucks, and then us. It's vintage. Valuable, I think. That old thing? It's a fake. Trust me. Pa couldn't even give it away. Uh, it's my fault. I should have told you about the debt. No, I won't hear that. Sweetheart, you didn't bring this on us. You want to hear my pitch? I say we rob the bank. Could work. Dumb right. Now, hold on. Nobody is robbing a bank. It's too risky. But maybe there's another way. You out, okay? Please hurry. <sighs> Damn it. Hang on. Ma, it's over. We can't win. On three, okay? One, two. Dear God, please let this work. What are you doing? Improvising. Oh, shit! Run, run, run! Go, go! Everyone okay? All good. Keep going. Ah! We're not safe yet. The whole fucking place is on fire! Oh god, I hope Paul got out. How do we get out? There's a window. Come on. Mother... Paul! Get out of there! The whole place is going up! We're gonna have to jump. Uh, Vince, wait. If I don't make it, you're gonna be fine. 
Grab my hands. Here we go. All right, time to jump. And no fancy backflips. I know you want to. Have I ever told you how much I love your dumb jokes? Flames are coming up the stairs. We need to go now. Look out! <gasps> are you all right? <coughs> Climb down. I'll find another way. The bathroom at the end of the hall. I'll see you down there. chance to do the right thing. I trusted you. And you chose them over me. You've lost your mind. That stunt with the bus? You're supposed to protect people. And you were supposed to do what I asked. The Holt. <laughs> They're nothing, Vince. This town doesn't run without me. Even my most loyal deputies know better than ask how or why. That book could bring down a lot of people, myself included. So I gotta ask, did you look inside it? Yeah, I read it. Ah, that's unfortunate. Where do you think you're going? I just want to ask you a few questions, Vince. Like, uh, what exactly did you read? Incident report. Attempted to question witness in motel room. 
Witness became aggressive and combative. I was forced to electrocute the living shit out of him. Fuck you, Sheriff. Electrocute that asshole. Look what I found trying to crawl under the back gate. Get off! Well, hello. And who might you be? Where's my mommy and daddy? I need to make sure they're okay. She's that guy Vince's kid. Cops were meant to be watching her. Wanna go for a ride, Dad? Let her go. I don't think so. Zoe, what are you doing here? You were supposed to be in the car. The police woman left the door open, and I wanted to find you. She's coming with us until we're far away and safe. I lied for you. I may have just killed a cop because of you. And you thank me by, by taking my little girl? Relax, it ain't personal. Of course it's personal. Look, this is our only chance. We have a kid in the back of the car, ain't no way the cops will shoot. That is so not my problem. Ain't it? Drop the gun. boy. Jay, you don't have to do this. Lower it, please, so no one gets hurt. Not until they let Zoe go. I told you, we can't do that. Please, just put it down. Shit. <sighs> Thank you. Jay, shoot open that gate and get the truck started. I was a little girl once too, you know. But now I've got a family of my own. And with her in the car, the cops won't shoot. Please, please, I don't want to go. Wait, you need a hostage? Take me. Yeah, right. After what you just pulled, uh, we gotta go. Wait, handcuff me, blindfold me, throw me in the trunk if you have to. I'll be the most obedient hostage ever. Just please, please, don't take my little girl. God damn it. Tyler, let's just take him instead. You try anything, anything. I won't even say a word. Go on then. Daddy! Oh God, Zoe. Come on, you're with us. I have to leave, Pumpkin. Please don't go. Please. Just look after Mommy for me, okay? Okay. And hey, if I don't make it back, you always stand up for the people you love. Okay? Let's go. Here. In case we need to see you in the dark. I love you, Zoe. Oh. Oh, all the way to the moon.
please say you're the reinforcements? Lawrence Bradley, FBI. Jesus, this was a massacre. The sheriff was found unconscious. Everyone else was caught in the blast. We've got four deputies dead. Maybe more after the burns they took. And no sign of the perps. Well, let's get a helicopter in the air. That's it. Nice and quiet till we're past the tracks. I tell you, if Bear could see us now... Don't talk about him. This is all his dumb fault anyway. He was the person he wanted to be. And this is where it got us. This is happening. Me too. Jay, eyes on the road. <sighs> the place I want is the edge of darkness, where thoughts stop and memories die. Do you hear that? On it. Ma, what do I do? We'll make it. Just keep driving. It isn't working. It never does. I get a few seconds of peace. Then instinct takes over. Just the motel, but what happened afterward. I won't sleep much tonight. I never do. I'll try again tomorrow. Go tell that long tongue liar. Go tell that midnight rider. Tell the gambler, the rambler, the backbiter. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. Stop, God Almighty, let me tell you the news. My head's been wet with the midnight dews. Now I've been down on bended knees, talking to the man from Galilee. My God spoke, he spoke so sweet. Thought I heard the shuffle of angels' feet. He put one hand upon my head. Great God Almighty, let me tell you what he said. Tell that long-tongue liar. Go tell that midnight rider Tell the gambler, the rambler, the backbiter Tell him the God's gonna cut him down Tell him the God's gonna cut him down
You may run and hide, slip and slide, try to take the moat from your neighbor's eyes. But sure there is the rich and poor. You're gonna reap, my brother, what you sow. You may run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God'll cut you down. Thank you.